Welcome back to the Beers and Bros podcast. Thanks for tuning in. This is episode eight, eight nine, nine of season three. <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're ancient to the way. Sorry, I, sometimes I forget. Um, do you have it on there? Yeah, I do have it on there, but it's not pulled up, so um, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Anyways, um, here in the podcast, we like to talk about whatever comes to mind to whoever wants to listen, and um, we're gonna get right into it. And today, the first thing we'll always start out with is a beer of choice and. Um, we got something different today. We got like a drink of choice for those just listening and can't see on the table. We have crown vanilla and cherry Coke. So mm-hmm. we're going to, uh, pour ourselves a couple drinks here. Well, I guess just one to start out with each and yeah, I'll make sure, I'm doing, and I'll make sure, night. I'll make sure Noah gets a little bit of an extra. Yeah, he Whoa, needs it. I don't yeah. need it, man. I gotta get it at five and I gotta be at Four in the morning. Actually, Chance gets extra. No, Chance, Chance, Chance already does. does. <laughs> Chance has a baby, so he needs it. Chance is already dead. Uh-huh. It's going to be a little bit of a strong one. I drank all this last night, and... Um, You're an alcoholic. Well, I didn't... I didn't. I had some help. I'm not going to lie. I had some With help. Who? Um, You're not buying us stuff now? No, it was, uh, Dan- mm, it was yeah. Danny. It was Danny's friend's birthday. Yeah, and? And it was a mixed drink party, and this is what I brought. Oh. So, obviously, some people liked what I was drinking. So. I haven't had a mixed drink in a minute. Well, hopefully it tastes good <laughs> to you. It could have been warm, but you know they called me out and wanted ice. And <laughs> no, bro. Who wants dry cup? Warm, room temperature cups. Room temperature cups, room temperature like, cups uh, and room temperature alcohol. Uh, and oh my bad, sorry. my bad. No, you're you're good. I just have I have, you know, I need the more coke. All right. We have to do cheers. Yeah, we are gonna okay. do a cheers because we time. forgot, you know, the last uh, live. Well, not live. And that actually reminds me, we had to figure out the live situation yeah, for we do, we next do. week. All right. All right. Cheers, 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 cheers. Clink. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I may have fucked myself over a little bit on it. Too much? I think so. Oh my god, that is a lot. Yeah. I'll slowly make it through there. We'll, we'll take a couple more sips and we'll fill back up. Oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's actually not bad. Um. I think oh, yeah. yesterday I had a way bigger cup, so like obviously my ratios were like oh, yeah. way better. <laughs> yeah, Kevin did half and half. Almost. Yeah, I almost did half and half, so that's uh, my bad on that. Um, all right, first thing I want to get into is, as you can see on my notes, the Ep- Epic Game Settlement. Did you guys get an email about that? Oh <gasps> yes. So no. I I got an email. Why didn't I get no settlement? I don't know, but I got an email because I thought it was a fake. So I was I like, thought I'm it was not, a fake. No response. I, I thought it was a fake. I was like, bro, no way. But it's not a fake. So apparently. I don't know if you remember the thing that happened last year, but some people bought something from Epic Games, and it didn't give them that level of like rarity that you paid for, or something like that, hmm. of the item. Mm-hmm. Oh, but it gives you the item, but like a lower. It gives you an item, but not of the same rarity that you like would have paid for. <clears throat> and someone sued them, and they ended in a settlement that said anybody who bought something from Epic Games. That like was what you're like, like like that where you were. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we can, we he has email. That. Basically, the point is that they're they're gonna give your money back in terms of V bucks or Rocket League bucks, um, depending on what you bought. Okay, so here's actually what it says right here. So back in the Epic Game settlement, here's what it actually says in the email. It says, if you played Fortnite or Rocket League between July 1st, 2015, and February 5th or February 25th. 2021 and exchanged in-game virtual currency like V-Bucks or whatever for any in-game item or purchase in-game virtual currency for the use within Fortnite or Rocket League, you may be eligible to receive cash compensation or in-game virtual currency from a class action settlement. So obviously they were sued because someone didn't get what they should have got. So apparently, okay, so it Sucked. says it says here they'll add a thousand Fortnite V-Bucks to each Fortnite account. Which would which acquired a loot llama loot box, or like a thousand Rocket League credits, which you got like a crate loot loot box, and the contents um, were not known before opening, because for for that amount of money you were supposed to get a good rarity, and I think the loot they're, boxes they're included. Just giving you shit. They were giving you shit. Yeah. <sighs> so. Oh, people, I'd be pissed. I yeah. would have sued about that too. Yeah. Why so that's you? what happened. Dude, don't. why didn't you sell? <laughs> I still can, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So that's I got what... the email. You didn't, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to check. Like, when did you get the email? 
Oh, Here. beginning of last week? Oh, well then. Something like that. I looked at it. Maybe, maybe, I looked at it and I was maybe like. I did get it. I just didn't. No, it was actually Sunday. Sunday? So a week last ago. Sunday? Okay. Yeah. I'll check. I. I it. it like, I, I was, when I got, I got it, it, I, I thought like, it was fake. I thought it was like junk and I was like, yeah. bro, what is this doing in my like normal mail? And yeah. I was like, <laughs> what? And then I read through it and I was like, oh, what the frick, man? Yeah. I was like, this might be legit if, I, if it actually got sent to me. Yeah. It was weird. So I legit thought it was a scammer. Yeah, me too. So that's that. I don't know if you guys if you had heard about that. I'm guessing I don't know, know that you did, but no, I so, have no clue. I guess that when did that actually happen though? Because if they're going all the way back to 2015, were they were they there wasn't loot llamas in 2015. No, there was like there was like nothing. It was it all it was back then was just um 2015. That was before we graduated high school. Well, we, yeah, we weren't playing by then. Yeah, we weren't even playing then. We were playing. Fortnite like, was a game that point. Yeah, it so it didn't uh, hit until like I think, two years I think, later. Oh, that mm-hmm. was the early yeah. access where Fortnite was like just uh, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. like, like if you want to play remember. early access, yeah, yeah. but uh, it never changed. We got into it after <laughs> high school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got and into it like what sophomore, junior year of college, yeah. Junior, oh yeah, my junior year in college. That's that's the yeah. way I timeline. And we were like hardcore, like. Oh, we were. That's the only game we played for yeah. like months. Yeah, we yeah. legit grind that shit out. Yeah, it was. That was the last game I honestly grinded. Like you know, I grind Call of Duty for like two months after it comes out, but that game we grinded for a while. That was. I think it was the most fun before it got into big builds. Yeah, once like season one, season like two. When all you had to build was a wall and a ramp, and you can fight. <laughs> that yeah. was so fun. And you got the scar, and you're just like, you know, and we would, just melted. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! We would land at uh, the Giving Tree. <laughs> oh man, the Giving Tree. Or or in the later seasons, we would land at Broken. You remember yeah. that Broken place? Mm-hmm. We'd always go there, and no one else would go there. And we'd start off really nice. That was clutch, yeah. clutch days. Yeah, now it's made me really want to play some Warzone that I literally have not had any time to play, but. I we sad. we played quite a bit of Warzone. That's true. We did like at after. the start, yeah. didn't we? Oh yeah. We yeah. didn't play Blackout. Blackout wasn't. We played Blackout, but then we realized that it was like trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we didn't <laughs> like it. Was it. Bad. Oh, we were like, no man. Well, you had to pick up every single attachment, and I'm like, like fifteen. At- I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was, yeah, it was too confusing. I think Warzone really popped off when they introduced um, you can create your own class and yeah. rock it in the game. Yeah, I think that's, that, what that's really popped off. Uh, yeah, I mean that's like. To me, it makes sense. I mean, like, you get your custom class and you're used to it. Now, Warzone feel and Call of Duty feels way different. I mean, multiplayer, uh, multiplayer is way different. Yeah. But still, oh, I, mean, way, yeah. I mean, it's still fun to use your own. Yeah, if you know you're super accurate with the gun, there you go. You know what I think is weird is sometimes, like, the guns will have the same stats, right? But it'll be way better in Warzone. It's true. I think about the DMR. Like, will he... Was anybody really using it in multiplayer? No. No, but in no. Warzone, it freaking dominated. Yeah, it did. I mean, until I figured out that it was baller in wars or in multiplayer. Yeah, until like we figured out that those and then, guns then were now, actually now cracked. everybody's using it. Yeah. It was like I remember watching. I got onto Nick Merckx for a little while because he. I, that's I, all I've he never does. Wa- watched that guy. All he does is play Warzone. It's super yeah. cool, but he plays with like Tim the Tapman and like all those guys like. Well, I've pretty much s- consistently. I've heard of that guy. Like he's getting a little bit more popular right now, right? Yeah, yeah he he's is. a console yeah. player. He's the one who's like baller on console for Fortnite. He's a goon. He's a goon. He's yeah. like a big jacked up dude. No, he looks like he does no. roids. I That's, haven't seen. Yeah. I just heard the name in some 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 on Twitter. <laughs> some on Twitter. The opposite uh, of a burp on the podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm oh sorry, God. man. <laughs> Shit. Oh yeah, I'm sure they probably didn't hear that. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, I doubt it did. I actually have an update for. Um, like the channel status just real quick mm. um, so going back so I was looking at like on YouTube they give you like these st- statistics and exactly. like what people like search for and, and how they found our video yeah and one was about burping someone typed in burping and no that's, way. That, that was that was burp guy that's how he found oh us. Oh my god! Yeah, that, that's how he found us. And no way! Yes, it, it, there was like it had it had something in front like a and something. So, ASMR. And, no, I was not ASMR because I know what that is. But it said A and something burping or, or something like that. I'll, it was probably like a translated version of ASMR. Maybe. Yeah, that's that's probably. It might have been the full version. Yeah. It was full word of it. Yeah, whatever. something crazy. But anyway, so I looked up and, the, and I saw that like two weekends ago. I was going to tell you that's how they, the burp guy found us. I'm almost embarrassed. <laughs> hey man, what's up? 
You does that mean some money? Does that mean someone watched our podcast and like tagged burping as like a keyword for I us? I might have done it. I, could, uh, I, yeah, I, I do. I do a lot. Of, I, I do a lot of tags just so we, you know, get as much thing. But <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, I might have done. It. I know. I'm not sure. But and then the second thing is we also just randomly got two subscribers. So now we're up to 35. So I mean that's pretty good. I think. Let's 35, go. Yeah, yeah. yeah 35, 35 subscribers. Don't knock it away. Let's let's think. Like we have. Half of our listeners right now are listening and then watching. Right. True. But if we get, we don't have very many subscribers like to our podcast, like just audio. So it's cool mm-hmm. to see like exactly how our YouTube is popping off. Yeah. Our yeah. YouTube is popping off now. So that's cool to see. Yeah. Because YouTube gives you so much more stats and like there's a lot of growth on YouTube. Like, I mean, there's thousands and thousands of people that watch videos every day. So, and I mean, there's a lot of people that watch podcasts too, but it's just easy. Like YouTube is the second, you know. It's like the second Google. Yeah. The second most used things are search. Oh, yeah. So you can, that's why I tag a thousand things in there so we can find it. But, you know, that's just a Tag short... oil change and stuff like that. Well, that's why I, well I was looking into that. Like, you know, you could tag like, it, and you know, on TikTok, you can just tag the, the trending topic right now. And oh, yeah. it's fine. Well, in YouTube, if you do that and you get caught, you get flagged. And Ooh. so I, I'm just like, I want to do that, it. but I don't, I just rather just understand. not. Wait, so there's like a trending topic on YouTube. And if you like put it in yours, if it has nothing to do with your video, it gets flagged. Yeah. Like, so the biggest search thing is how to so if you just put how to into it and you put that in your tags and it's oh, not a how to video like caught. yeah you get like caught like you most likely obviously our channel wouldn't because we have 35 subs and unless like out of nowhere it's like we go from 35 Maybe. to like 10,000 yeah they'd be like well, how did you know how did they do this yeah. and all that stuff but what was our what's our highest view video a right hundred uh, I think it's our first ever episode still or it's the love is Bl- I think it's the love is blind the one. love is blind one love is blind has approximately 180 views on it Wow, so, love is blind. I don't remember. I don't remember what else we talked about on that one. Like honestly, but I remember that being a kind of a fun episode. Yeah, I, I looked at it before we did this one, and you know the second one, most viewed one, I think now was uh, actually this the one where we talked about our celebrity crushes, and those are kind of like back to back episodes, yeah, like they were. In, in that mix. Um, so that was just like a trending topic whenever we were doing it. So that was we hit that cool. hard. We did, yeah. I mean, whenever when I saw 180, though, and it just continues to get one or two views occasionally. So. I'm I'm happy with that. Yeah, same here. Thanks for watching, as always. Uh, um, yeah. So yeah, epic game settlement. We went through that. Um, the only other thing I really have to talk about is hogs. Hog stuff. NCAA track and field indoor champions for the women's way one again. So back to back. Yeah. To back to back. back. Yeah. Like four I, back I think to that's, back. I think that's five. I think that's four in a row, or five in a row, Go or six. Oh, it's. Five, five. maybe three. four. It's three. Look it up, no. Um, but also we got <laughs> Hogs basketball made it into the SEC uh, tourney mm-hmm. or SEC <laughs> uh, NCAA tourney. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, they made and it. Then, then they did make it. They just lost. Yeah, to they, LSU. they lost to um, LSU. <gasps> um, but well, they, like I didn't watch the. I didn't watch the. It was like eight. I think. Yeah, it was eight. But oh. you know, they foul and stuff. They get the free throws oh. at the end of the last minute. You. So they. By the time they started fouling, they were only down one. I'll show. I'll tell you what happened. Okay, they're down two. Mm-hmm. With actually, they're down three. They have a chance to tie it. Mm-hmm. Um, with like twenty seconds left, we have the ball, and the guy is dribbling down to set up a play. And as he's dribbling, he's trying to drive by the LSU dude mm-hmm. and just loses his footing and his handle, and the LSU dude literally just picks up the ball and they have oh, to foul. Oh, so it, right it there. was really close. It was really close, and it was like came down to one play, mm-hmm. and um, he just lost the ball, lost the game. But, you know, they're still number three in the south region of the NCAA tourney. So they play a um, 13 seed, which is actually really good. Yeah, isn't it? Um, Colgate. Colgate, yeah. Yeah, Colgate, I remember. Yeah, yeah. It's not Creighton, it's Colgate. I get, yeah. the, I get the two mixed up. And but Colgate, I, they're a good team, too. I mean, like, in I'm their, assuming so. You know, they I looked, at, I looked at their uh, like their record, and it was pretty good. Now, I mean, obviously, they're not playing the SEC conference, but. Yeah, four in a, four in a row. Four okay. in a row. Four in a row for the women's indoor track and field. Um, but also, that reminds me that Duke and Kentucky are both out of the NCAA tourney. Because they're trash. Yep. First they're time, garbage now. First time since 1976 that they're both out. Wow, that's yeah. pretty... So it's actually going to be a year where we don't see one of those two dumbass blue teams yeah. in the finals. <laughs> well, in, in the thing... <laughs> I, you're not wrong. <laughs> so thank freaking God, dude. Those teams suck, bro. I hate watching them just... They're like... The Patriots, like, yeah. they just yeah, win yeah, yeah. over well, yeah. and over and over. No yeah. one cares. Like, yeah. UConn, it, it the women's like, UConn. Mm. 
it gets to a point where you're just like, man, I want to see something different. You know, like, I mean, even whenever, like, the NBA Finals was, like, Golden State, Golden State, Golden State, you know, for a while, it was just kind of like, it's great to watch the three-peat, but then it's like... Golden State versus LeBron. But yeah, after, versus yeah, LeBron, but after three, though, it's kind of like, okay, you exactly, got your three-peat exactly. in. Exactly. Let yeah. some other team get in. No. Yeah. I mean, dominating. no one ever thinks like that, but, you know, you kind of wish it a yeah. little bit. But, I mean, they're, I mean, overall, oh, like... Okay. And the baseball, no, they're still... I want to give you guys some. Baseball, they're, they're, they're ranked number one now. Yeah, they did lose yesterday, though. They did? They lost last night. What? Yeah. They lost, but I think they won the series. They they came back and won oh. the series. Well, got to go home now. How dare Fuck they? Baseball. How dare they? <laughs> yeah, they did lose. How so. dare they? That's okay. That takes the pressure off because you don't want to get into a situation where you're playing a good team and you're like... Not like, your first loss. Yeah, because you're going to make more mistakes and there's going to be a lot more pressure to make it a... You know, like a... I don't know. Obviously, you want to go... What is it? You want to go undefeated? Undefeated, exactly. So, but nope. Um, anything special? Oh, girls softball is undefeated still. They've won like sixteen I thought, games in I a thought, row. I thought girls softball lost too. Mm-mm. No, I saw a thing that today that they're still undefeated. That's cool. It's like sixteen wins in a row or something. Yeah, they're it's, straight up ballers. That's, that's a beast mode. Um, I heard a story. I don't know if you remember that. Um. Yeah, you gotta add more in there, man. Dude, don't even touch mine. Um, <laughs> I I'm I'm bare. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it that much farther. <laughs> y'all remember that chick that hit like a single, single homer, or a double homer, or a triple? Oh homer? Yeah. yeah, what is it and called? A not a tornado. Oh, that sounds stupid. What is it called? What is it called? I don't know, but I feel so dumb for not knowing this. I played baseball forever. Ah, uh, it's okay uh, if you don't remember. I'm not gonna judge you because I have no idea. Uh, and her name was like, dang. Daniel? Daniel? Dan- Daniel Barnes. Danielle. It was Danielle something, Danielle, wasn't it? Yeah, I swear I swear it was. I feel bad that we don't know her name. Well, but <laughs> I haven't seen her in the news li- like lately anymore. Yeah, I think she might have moved she's on. Just, oh, she's but on the I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What was her name? But yeah, it's called like a hurricane, but not a hurricane. Like, Why is it? I can't not think of that. Anyway, I mean, it's it's where, yeah, like, like Kevin said, you hit a... Oh, 19. Sorry, not 16. Oh. 19 wins in a row. But yeah, they're balling right now. Do they have a new coach? Like, why are they? Why are I don't they know. Going crazy? I, I don't know anything about the softball, but is it I, the games are really cheap to go watch? I don't know about the COVID this like COVID year, but I mean, I never went to one, but I know that they're pretty cheap, and it's also still a baseball vibe, and it's still fun to go to. I mean, you're just it's even probably more fun to go to if you guys know what I mean. You can pregame and like go watch. You can just literally pregame and just go Cold in. Plaster, yeah, like, go oh, plaster. Sure. Be thrown up all over behind the first <laughs> base. God. You sure. could. I mean, it'd be fun. Just think about a chance. Just throwing up. Yeah, I'm feeling now. <laughs> just kidding. Is that, your first, is that the first club we made you? No, I. Yes, it, it is the first club, but I keep adding coke. Oh, like, oh, I, okay. I get this far and then I add more coke. Okay. I'm like hoping it gets better, but. Yeah. It, 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 it does, not. it does. I just did that with mine for a while. Um, okay. That's about the only thing I have. Oh, oh, Chiefs. Let's talk about they released man, two they offensive released linemen. Our star tackles, man. Yeah. Our star tackles. So you know what that means? We're definitely drafting a lineman probably first round. Oh, yeah. first, in cu- first couple rounds, actually. We should have last year. Uh, actually, last year should have been defense, but still. Our defense, I think it'll probably, I think it'll probably be offensively. We'll probably freaking get offensive linemen. Mm-hmm. Maybe we like should. I mean, maybe, we have maybe, to. maybe maybe like a receiver or something like that, you mm. know. And then freaking defense will be like linebackers. Yeah, linebackers are probably in corners are really what's hurting us. Really, yeah. we have Snoop. our secondary is good, but it's like we might need more corners because just a backup corner. Just injuries. Yeah. yeah, our injuries play. Freeland us. was hurt for a while. Um, what's the other guy's name? Nolan, Noland? or maybe he was the backup. I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, there was a couple injur- injuries for for sure. I don't think we – if it was me, I would go linebacker. Because I think they're a decent enough secondary to compete in the playoffs. Yes. You know, I, just, I think we just lost it, obviously, because of our offensive linebacking, line. So, yeah, our offensive line really screwed us over. It's not their fault. They lost – No, you know, no, yeah, it's just it's – just. And they also, I'm pretty sure, moved around most of the people. Like, they weren't playing their, like, normal spot. No, yeah, we hmm. – I think before the Super Bowl, we literally moved, like, yeah. our tackles into yeah. the guards because both of our good tackles were out. So yeah. then we had to move our freaking – yeah, it's whack. It we, just we had to move yeah. our 
backup tackles and for guards and move our guards to tackles mm-hmm. to try to keep veterancy on the outside. I don't remember the other guy's name, but one of them was Michael Shorts. Mitchell yeah. Shorts. Mitchell Shorts. Shorts. And then the other one, I, don't, I can't remember, but... They're, oh, Fisher. Eric Fisher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude... That, that, when when I saw that, yeah, when I saw it, I was like, what in the world is going on? Yeah. And then, what's his name? Sherman retired. Yeah, Anthony So we Sherman. gotta get a yeah. fullback. Yeah. That is true. We might draft like a little stud running back and then just be like, play fullback. I just hope we don't because we have a stud running. Like, we we could use... Not like a stud stud, like I'm saying, like, like a big, thick, a thick big, boy. thick boy, yeah. like, who should be, Maybe. who should be, like, a fullback, but he's been playing running back at the school that he came from, and so yeah. he's, like, a ball, like, he has I hope, I just hope they do offensive skills. line, that's just my thing, I, yeah. I just hope that, because I feel like if you're going to draft a player like that, that you hardly ever use, because they don't use the, the fullback set too much, no, not just a whole lot. Trade, just get him either in a trade, or a, as a free agent, just sign him to a two-year two year contract that's, you know, One whatever. Year something. Um, they also renegotiated Mahomes' contract yeah. to get the free up seventeen million. So they so, did, mm-hmm. yeah. So, so we got gave that. Up some more money. He gave up money, or they they restructured it into a signing bonus. Yeah. So he resigns the same contract after it's been restructured. So it, it frees up more cap space instead of like it being coming from the cap space. It's coming as like a signing bonus. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And then we, we, then Sherman was Teddy actually going to take a pay cut, and then he just ended up retiring. The, Which is probably the best thing. Yeah, overall. yeah. I mean, Even he he fine. got like three passes all year. I mean, he now he you know he did his job. There was one pass, but that he missed. I remember, but he was full stretched out, and those were the hardest passes to catch. Yeah, but I mean, it, he's getting older, so I mean, yeah. It's like, and the, oh, yeah. the fullbacks, you're literally just running and blocking, running into people. Yeah, constantly. Like it's almost the same as an offensive lineman. Yeah. like you're just you're looking your for body, someone. Your body's just like gonna give out way sooner than. A skill position. And you know who retired as well, right? Drew Brees. Yeah, Drew Brees yeah, retired. Today, yeah. so. today he announced it on Instagram, and then, it, of course, it just spread. And that was 20 years, so he started in 91. That's crazy. That and didn't he play for the Chargers? Chargers I think it was. Yeah, Chargers. he got drafted yeah. by the Chargers, and then like he didn't want to he didn't want to play there or something like that, and then they were like, trade between yeah, and them. They got Phil Rivers. Phil Rivers. Yep. Wow. And they're both they both retired. Yeah, they both retired. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was Legendary crazy to see him on the Colts. That was it, just weird. Like, it, it was weird. It was right. Like it didn't fit. It's one of those things. Where you're like, just retire as a Charger. And yeah. Just be and his, yeah. Yeah. Like, what? What's one more year? Like, you should. You know. Like to me, he, I'd be like, he, I'm he done. He wanted to try to go for that Super Bowl ring. Yeah. That's it. So yeah. he said, I'm gonna go with the team that's like, yeah. probably has a good shot at making it, but then injuries well, really and screwed the Colts over. Him up. And honestly, though, um, what's his name? Brissett, oh Jacoby Brissett. Yeah. Oh yeah, he beat us two years ago. Just or was it last year? Did Phil Rivers have been last year? It had to be like two years ago. Yeah, well, yeah, okay, you're right. It was two years ago. He he straight up beat us. Like I mean, he just. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of the right guy, or maybe I'm thinking of something wrong, like weird. But no, um, I, don't I think I anybody think anybody else. So had to be him. I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think he did, but I mean. But also, we're getting like a tough. The Bills are getting better. Baker Mayfield's getting better. Um, so those are going to be two tough ones to come through. So we really going to have to figure out the offensive line. Ravens, Ravens, I mean, they're, they're still they stuck. Better? I mean, they, they're. I don't know. It, I like Lamar Jackson's always, hit or miss. I feel like we always play to their level. Is that yeah. just me? Well, uh, this year we we beat them pretty good. Yeah. I feel like, but that's normal. Like we definitely played. We played better than we played worse. You know, so. But I agree. We, we I think we always play to our level. We do that to, to we do their that level. Lot. But then that's that's just what our thing is. I don't beginning know of the beginning of the season, first like six seven games, we just blow teams out. Yeah. And then we start getting lazy, and yeah. it's like we always play to their level. Exactly. It's annoying, but yeah, we touch each other's tips a couple times. Yeah. It's wild. And then we always finish first somehow. Like the Raiders. Yeah, the Raiders. That's that's another team we always freaking. Freaking, get caught up in yeah Raiders they yeah. always freaking are close with us and then like Chargers they freaking beat us be. this year they beat us this year they beat us this they year. did and, and, then, and then they end up like sucking the rest of the year yeah well and, and people stupid. like played good against us too like well I mean also you that one guy um the Panthers guy Teddy Bridgewater Teddy Bridgewater he played a great game they just got unlucky because it was like back and forth back and forth and they just only ended up scoring three points like in the first half or something like that and but to me, they were driving down the field. They just weren't converting into touchdowns. 
and you have to beat the Chiefs with touchdowns, other than the Super Bowl, which they didn't score a touchdown, which is no. unheard of. Yeah. But I mean, you know, as much as I'm supposed, to, as much as I'm supposed to hate the Chargers, though, I freaking love their quarterback. He just so freaking uh, Herbert. smooth. Herbert, yeah. yeah, he is. He's. Uh... I'm supposed to hate them, but that quarterback, dude, he's like my next favorite besides Mahomes. Yeah, and I, Lamar I do Jackson. Like him. I just, I just hate him just because he is the you know Chiefs rival. Thank you. Finish that by tonight. So you can, dude. That is a hundred percent. Oh, you're about to put coke. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, He's not gonna drink I'm that not chance. about to drink that hoe, James. That'd be crazy. I can't even drink this guy. Yours is dark. Yours is all coke too, freaking champ. <laughs> oh, there it is. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> what a bitch. That's party me. foul. That's now you me. gotta. Now you gotta drink the rest of that. Yeah. yeah. Shots, oh shots, my shots, bad. Shots, shots, shots. Yeah, we'll get that fun. after the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. <laughs> um. Okay, Chance, do you have topics? Please tell me. You yeah, I got, I, got, I got a couple of them. Um, so, this is just an experiment I wanted to test out on you guys. Uh, what the fuck? So, I'm going to walk you through a scenario, and we're all going to... Uh, um, you're just going to tell me what, what you would do. Okay, like, I'm going to be A, you guys are both B. So, like, you, but you're going to tell me in your situation. Okay, I'm ready. You want me to get that, or are you good? Um, I'll I got go it. ahead and get it, I guess. Um, I don't care but if you were bothered about it. Um... Um, so, okay, so I'll start here in one second. I'll tell you okay. guys what. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. We're okay, about so. We're about to go on a D&D &D adventure. Pretty much. Um, it's not that deep. It's just, it's just a small thing, and I'm only looking for a small thing, but I'm going to make it. Small I'm gonna thing. I'm going to try to make it look a little bit more elaborate so you guys don't just, like, catch on to it. You guys might, you know. I don't know, because I've never really done this before. So, okay, okay so point A. You, you, okay. I'm like, hey, uh, I'm hungry. Okay, are you guys hungry? No. Okay, you're not hungry. No, are you? No. Okay, well, you both are hungry. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are hungry. You're like, oh man, uh, I'm running to Walmart, so I I'm I'm leaving to go to Walmart. Okay, and you guys are staying at home, chilling, uh, doing whatever you need to do, and then you guys call me. You're like, hey, like I'm pretty hungry. Can you, uh, just you know, what do you want to eat? And so. Therefore, I am saying, okay, this is whenever your part picks up. Um, what do you want to eat? Um, get me a rotisserie chicken. All right, rotisserie chicken. Dude, give me five of them little Reese's, like, Easter egg ones. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> the white chocolate okay, ones. Okay, all right, all right. So it's so you have to think. Two you, completely you want, different dinners. You want actually food, okay? So you get, is that not actual food? No, not not for. Okay, like so the it, fuck? it's also COVID season, so you have to remember that you don't really want to go out to whatever. Like you know, Damn, you, you okay. want to eat at home as much as you can, but you know, you still go out. Like okay, go, whatever. So I got right. what you want: pizza rolls. No, okay. that's not a restaurant. Okay, a Who restaurant. Said, that's Wait, what I'm you're saying. going to Walmart. Yeah, I'm going out, but we're gonna eat something at a restaurant because. That's what we want. Like, I'm going to Walmart oh, I because I, I'm out of the house and answer. you're here. Yeah. Okay. So, like, we're going to, and I'm like, yeah, um, you're, or I'm like, so just say that we're going to a restaurant. Okay. Or a Chick-fil-A. No, I'm, I'm picking now. Uh, we're going to, uh, <laughs> dude, I don't know so what's going good. on. Uh, um, <laughs> you're so hold on, back ass so, <laughs> so back ass Hold on, hold on. I'm really thinking. Okay. I want, um, Red Lobster. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. okay. All Wait, right. You yeah. want that or we want that? Everyone wants it now. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so now that everyone wants red lobster, okay. we all decide on that all together. No one has said no. Um, now, therefore, I'm like, okay, can you make the to-go to -go order? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Chance. You, I will call in the to-go order. I'm like, awesome. Thank you. Okay. So now I'm the, the hostess at the, the thing. All right, okay. Kevin, what are you going to say? You're, you're going to call, and so I'm going to say hello. I'm going to say, hi, how's it going? I would like to place a to-go order. All right, um, what's the uh, name on the order? Kevin. Okay, um, Kevin, what would you like to eat? Um, I'll take some of those biscuits. All right. I, think, I don't really know what they're called, but you know the guard. Cheddar, Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Yeah, they know what they're called. They know what I'm looking for. Yeah. I need some of them hoes. Yeah, absolutely. How many that. would you like? At least six. Okay, six of those. Oh, at least and what else do they have at Red Lobster? Um, we got lobster. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we got shrimp scampi. We have uh, Alfredo. Uh, what is it called? Shrimp linguine Alfredo. Uh, my personal favorite. Um, we also have uh, the normal broccoli, veggies, and a fruit cup. 
Okay, I'll just do the Alfredo. Okay, that's my favorite. So that's what you're getting. Yeah. All right, Noah. All right, you call me. Ah. Hey, sir, how are you doing? Ah. (laughs) You can tell Noah doesn't call people. Uh, Okay, Uh, what's the name on this order? Oh, it's going to be Noah. All right, Noah, what do you want to eat? Oh, like uh, some of them biscuits. Okay. Some of them damn biscuits. (laughs) And then then, um, I would also like um, some of the Alfredo. Okay, perfect. That's my favorite choice. All right, hang up. Bam. Okay, so. Fuck you. Therefore, you guys are going to feast on some nice red lobster. Okay, okay. That's the end of the story. That's the end of the story. But there's a little piece that I both asked you that I just wanted to know, but I couldn't tell you, so I had to jump around a lot so it wasn't like obvious okay so so you guys were at home right right and i was gonna get it okay so whenever you called and i asked for who's gonna gonna put the order you said kevin and noah so whenever i'm driving there i'm not neither kevin or noah so should i give you the meal is what i'm saying okay like you could lie i guess but i'm just i was just wondering because earlier that happened to us me and alex they called me or no sorry but i called them i was like she's like hey who's on the order i said alex because i knew she was gonna get it because, you know, they could ID you, but I've never really seen that in a restaurant. You know, they're, they're, they're like, you know, you're, they're going to believe you. But I'm just saying, what if they did, like, I just want to know your first choice without me coming to you and telling you who, to, you know, who to pick. I just want to see who you picked. See, I picked Alex, but that was just because I knew she was going to go get it. But in this situation, I didn't really explain it that well. So you might have actually said your spouse or your, your wife, you know, like either one. Yeah. So... That's just my little experiment, but obviously I, I kind of rambled around a little bit. I'm a little bit tipsy off of this little tiny drink I've had. I think normally I would do what you did. Yeah, and, is... and, and I should have explained I'm going to go get it. Like, you know, I kind of did, but I didn't say, like, I'm picking up the order. You know, I said, I'm going out to eat. You guys called in order. You first said you were going to Walmart. That's where that guy yeah. just lost. But that, that's what happened, just... happened earlier. Alex went to Walmart. And then I was like, oh. I was like hey, do you want to get something to eat? And I should have said... From a restaurant, but yeah, you guys were like actually thinking. I'm yeah. I was like, I want that rotisserie chicken. What? <laughs> we got one, so I mean, if you want some rotisserie chicken. But anyway, that's just that was my social experiment. I'll get better at them. I just want to know like who you would have picked if someone they're just like you know because I've been that way too. I'm like, um, it's for you know chance, and then they get there and you know Alex is just like, uh, or or they ask her like, oh, who's it for? She says Alex, and it's really chance. And she's like, oh, I don't have one for Alex. Then you know she's like, oh, well, it might be on a chance, but. I just want to know you guys is like a random, a random little detail that you don't think about really that hard. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. I remember when I worked at Firehouse Subs and people would come in and be like, I have a pickup order for like Dodo Michelle. McGee. And I'm like, well, I don't really have a Michelle, but I have like, can I have a last name? And God, they give me a last name and I'm like, well, I have a James mm-hmm. last name. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She must have put it under my name. I'm like, cool. You can have it. Yeah. That's, you're not the person that's supposed to go to. Well, fuck it. We'll yeah, figure yeah. That out. We'll figure that out later. And I, and I guess that's true. I guess like <laughs> they can always just remake the damn order. Yeah, I guess. yeah. It makes the customer mad, but well, I mean, yeah, it makes the customer mad, and you're losing money as a biz, a business. But I also, that happens a lot in the food industry. It's just little things. But I've always thought about just from that that side of it, but going in, be like, hey, yeah, my name is Smith. You know, Smith is the most generic name out there. Smith or Smith or like. Uh, Michael. Yeah, Michael's. Michael yeah, yeah. Michael Smith. Michael yeah. Sam Smith. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I, you know, you go in there and be like, yeah, uh, you have an order for Smith. They're like, uh, you would have a higher chance of them saying yes. But also, I'm pretty sure even if you went in there with a totally random name, say you said, my name is Sharkisha. Sharkisha. Last name Sharkisha. And they're like, I don't have no. But, uh, um, and then they say a name, right? And then you just agree with them. And you you get the food. Yeah, I've always wondered. Why like, wouldn't you do that if you're homeless? I would do that all the time. Yeah, working in fast food, you see like some of the most generic names come up. So sometimes I wonder if you could just literally walk into like places that you know have to go orders and be like, mm-hmm. I have a pickup order for James, and they're like, Oh, okay. yeah, James. And yeah, then, James is a really good one. James is. And very... then you're like, they give you the order, and you're yeah. like. I've paid already, right? And they're like, yeah, yeah, you're good to go. True. Like, uh, that, that's appreciate the, it. You that's the part. step on the fucking gas and you zip out of there. Yeah. <laughs> you run over 15 blind kids. <laughs> yeah. That's always another thing, though, is sometimes people don't pay. 
Yeah, like, yeah, over the people phone don't pay, or, exactly. Like, on, yeah, they I was thinking about that, yeah, because if you walked in, tried doing that, and they're like, okay, that'll be fifty eight ninety five. You know, like, it's like, yeah. oh, uh, I thought I my name's actually Carlos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, and like so, like the Son- like we do the Sonic pickup all the time just for drinks because it's always half price on the Sonic app, you know. Mm-hmm. So I just go to the drive thru I'm like, hey, I have a pickup order for Chance, and then they're like, you'd have to know that it would be there. Like that, that one's more specific. But if you went into a restaurant and they had a bunch of to go orders, then you could maybe get away with it. But hey, here's a weird life hack. Mm-hmm. Um, Firehouse Subs does online orders, mm-hmm. and the way they do online orders is to get it like off of their ticket line. They just, as soon as the order's done, they literally just put it out on the rack for whoever needs to come get it to come get it. And so, like, you can literally walk in, grab it, grab it, and dip out because most of the time online orders are paid online. Oh. And sometimes, sometimes they're not because yeah. the car doesn't go through. Right. Because there are people who do that and, like, the scam. Uh-huh. Because we used to be, we used to have to wait till they came and got it to check it out because sometimes. They, People just, they wouldn't come get it, and then they'd be like, what do I have to charge on my card? I never yeah. got that food. I shouldn't have to pay for it. Right. So we would wait, and then they would come get it, and oh. we'd never see them. And then at the, at the end of the night, we'd be like, okay, we'll have to tender that ticket out. Right. And we tender it, and then it's like, can't process the payment, false card. And mm. we're like, fuck, they just scammed us $25. Yeah, that was so now, sad. But nowadays, corporate has made them, we have to have both the like food ticket and the receipt on mm-hmm. the bag. So you can always just walk in on an online order. If right. you see two True. receipts, grab yeah. that hoe. Yeah. Dip out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there, there is definitely. I was just think. I mean, and that's the whole world of like scam, like being like a scam artist. And there are so many like Tip scam there. artists out there. Yeah. But I just, it's not my first reaction to be like, you know what? I want that for free. You know, like to me, like it's just my first first reaction to be like, if you know, I want something, I just you know have to get yeah. a service for it. You know what I'm saying? Just finish it. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna try, but if it happens, it happens. Chance needs to, dude. You know how far I'm already toasted. I'm not toasted. You're like you're like barely even warmed up right now. Mine's you know how well my... you're gonna sleep if you drink that right now. I'm already gonna sleep well because I haven't <laughs> slept at all in the last like <laughs> three days. Oh, being a dad. Yeah, being a dad. Being a dad. Being on vacation. And, and yeah, being in Texas really did me in. There you go, Chance. That's the last one right for you. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, yeah, boy. Yeah, right. I would have to have a million dollars and I'll do it. <laughs> a million? How yeah. about like two dollars out of my wallet? I got two dollars for you as well. I wouldn't. I would. Four dollars says four you dollars. finish that drink and the rest of that. Four dollars. Four million dollars. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have to have four million for that. I don't know. For that. You're three challenged. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, that was an interesting thought, Chance. But that was a toss around. Yeah. Um, all right. So I got one more and I don't remember it, but. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to really think about it. Well, I'll pull the topic generator yeah, pull, pull out. Pull the topic generator up while. Uh, no, do you have anything? Um. Sometimes Noah has some weird ones in the back of his head. Yeah, yeah. I'll come up with some weird ones in my brain. No, I mean just. I don't know. It's crazy. Okay, so Chance. So this mm-hmm. is the thing that happened yesterday. Yeah. So one of Anna's brothers, we were over at Christopher and Hillary's house, right? Mm-hmm. Just hang out with them. They cooked us some food. We ate it. Mm-hmm. Or actually, we went. To, we were gonna go to Chicken Heads, but you can't. Their dining room is like super tiny. You know where the old King's Pizza used to be? It's super tiny. Like there's no seating whatsoever. When we went in there. Oh, I saw that the other day. Yeah. So so then we just said screw it. We were like, all right, let's try another place. We ended up just getting whatever fast food we wanted. And we went back to their place, ate there, and then all of a sudden, later throughout the night, Christopher he gets a call from Cody. His youngest brother, you know, the middle child of mm-hmm. them three. And he freaking was, like, talking to Christopher about, like, how his light switch was sparking and all that kind of stuff. Oh, awesome. <laughs> and so, and so, like, we freaking went there and, like, yeah. so essentially, when, when we got there, um, like, it was just fine. Like, uh-huh. you could tell, you know, everything was fine looking at it. And then all of a sudden, like, it just started sparking, like, crazy. Like, a little and you monkey. didn't flip it? No, no, we went and flipped it. Because, oh. like, we told him, I was like... I was like, bro, I was like, he just needs to flip the break- breaker, mm-hmm. you know, turn it off. and Because, so the crazy thing is, the light switch that was going out is the light to, like, their backyard. Mm-hmm. And it was in the garage, right? Mm-hmm. Well, it was wired up with all the power to master bedroom and, like, their office right next to it. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't, like, done right. All through one little light switch. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they had they had it like on their ground and like 
you know, whatever, like, going to it. So, like, the power was, like, coming into there. Into there, and it was supposed to go, like, break off from that light switch and then go into the master bedroom and mm-hmm. the office. Okay, gotcha. And yeah. freaking that burnt out. So then, like, Christopher, all he did was just, like, plug. He didn't know all three needed to be together. Like, yes. Yeah. Plugged yeah. each one individually. Uh-huh. And then, like, they still weren't getting power, and he was like, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> and so, and so then, <laughs> then, then, then he looked at it, he pulled it out, yeah. and he was like, oh, my God. He was like, these morons literally, like, put all the power through this light switch and did it go into the other rooms. Okay. And gotcha. so then he, like, twisted it all together and capped it all together. Yeah. And then the power, like... It worked. Yeah, but, and, like, and, at the end of the night, like, we left, and then, like... He was like, man, he's like, I hope there's nothing wrong with their light switch, their light on the outside, because that bitch is always going to be on now. Oh, so, oh, so he just wired it on? <laughs> so he, he so he just had it all, all the time on? Yeah, all the time on. Oh, okay. But th- he did that on accident, or he did it because he wanted him to? Well, that was the only way their, their rooms were going to get power, Oh, was everything that was coming. So it was like, from the breaker, there was one light, yeah, right? Yeah, right, yeah. And then they had light. all their other hots. They're coming from that switch. They're, 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 yeah. yeah, they're coming from that one little point to get... S- so I mean, you can fix it to a switch. No, yeah, yeah, you can. But and so that's, and that's what happened is like right. all that. So eventually, and one of the and they're loose and all this. Kind yeah, of that's stuff. that's so bad. That's why that's why so it's it, messed the switch up. It freaking literally just melted like the back of the switch and everything. Like, was it, was it stabbed in the, into the back of the switch? No, no, it was actually curled. Yeah. Okay. So, so, but, so you, but, but as soon as he started messing with it, uh-huh. one of the hots literally just came right off. Oh, okay. So like that, it wasn't even screwed so, so, on. Exactly. Like, it was twisted. So that's the reason. Like, okay. So what what the guy did? He just didn't twist it down on that screw terminal. Yeah. You yeah. Know? And so it oh, made I know. the spark. I remember from this receives. Yeah. Oh yeah. You you knew. I knew this stuff. I know. I know. Me. I know all this stuff. But but, <laughs> but yeah. So. But yeah, I just thought it was like a crazy thing. I just wanted to bring that up because I was like, well, so that's normal, anything, actually. Anything could literally be freaking. Yeah, I mean that, and that's that's why electrical work is so sketchy, sketchy, and that's why there's fires from it, and that's like you actually have to take your time and do stuff. And you know how many lazy people, electricians. I mean, there's lazy people in every category. Okay? Oh yeah, but electricians, there's people that don't tighten stuff down. Like you know, the, was did he have the little wire nut and he was like tur- he twisted it on the the powers or whatever? Is that what he had? Like you said, yeah. he twisted back. Yeah, people, if you don't twist those all the way down. It, they'll come out. They'll spark. That's yeah. what happened uh, the other day. It was a service call. Same thing happened. Two of the plugs in the room did, weren't working. So I got up in the attic, and this attic, it was a remodeled house, so there was a junction box. Same thing. It was just, it was out of there. And so I just tightened it back, and it worked. But that's what you have. have but so going back to the power thing, though. So from the power, you do take it, and you, you go to different rooms from that switch box. It just yeah. depends where it's coming from the panel or whatever, but. So that's normal, just not the fact that they didn't screw it down. Yeah. It was literally sparking. Sp- like, like, literally. This, like, yeah. this way. Like, like, where you can see it. Like, because li- they had the, the, co- the cover off. They yeah. had oh, the face they had the cover off. Yeah. They had it off because they were like, what the heck, you know? Mm-hmm. And then, like, literally, like, hell, we were, like, in the dark. Because they turned out, they killed the yeah. guy in the garage because they thought yeah. it was in the garage. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't. It was through master bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. And so... And so when they did that, all of a sudden, like in the dark, it just started going like sparking, like and like it was just like bright as can be. And we were no. like, we we're like, bro, it's literally gonna start burning your house down here soon. And oh so, so the gosh. switch was in the garage. Yeah. So they shouldn't have done it like that. They, now they, that's fine to do it like that because it's there's no right or wrong thing. Like you could have this circuit on, with like you know if there was like a closet switch and you did it with the bathroom for some reason, you know that that's just. It helps electricians troubleshoot faster if you just do everything in one room the same. You know, right. like I would have just came off the garage and just done that. But that's a cool story. You know that you just become an electrician, dude. Should have. Should have. You still can. Still can. It's never too late. No, yeah. I don't want to start out making eleven an hour. I'm no, up they, to they, they, they pay. They pay. They pay <laughs> twelve. Yeah. They pay twelve. Okay, twelve. That's a better chance. Yeah. Um. But no. Seventeen an hour. That's what you're making. Yeah. No, that's what you do with all that. I'll just chill. Save put it in my save account. Good. Savings account. Good. Yeah. What are you saving for? Yeah. Big, big, big ass turtle. Good. Big get, turtle aquarium. Get a little tortoise and get a big ass aquarium. Yeah. yeah. Good. And then 40 years when I'm about to die, my boy's like yeah. just that size. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say he's going to outlive you like yeah. 200 years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, always remember me, Chip Chip. And like I'm feeding him a piece, chip. Of, piece of like dry, like old stale le- lettuce. And I'm like, here you go. And I fucking like fall over and die. And he starts eating my ear. Yeah, that's how I figured Chip Chip would like go at me. Mm. Apparently, Noah's thought about this before. I would name a tortoise Chip Chip. I would just um, name a tortoise Turtwig or Blastoise. Blastoise. That's true. Yeah, how how are they that. realistic? 
Why is there also a Blastoise and a... Wait, is Turtwig even a tortoise? No, yeah, Turtwig is. Yeah, he's a grass Turtwig? type tortoise. Yeah, okay. Because he turns into Torterra and he's like a big... Yeah, Torterra, okay. That, okay yeah. Is Bulbasaur technically a turtle? Bulbasaur isn't a... It is a fictional, for sure. Bulbasaur is like or, a Or, no, weird... sorry, not fictional. It would be non-fictional, right? No, he's, non-fictional he almost, is a he turtle. Almost, sorry, he it is looks fictional. more like a freaking frog, if anything, where he's like... Yeah, Bulbasaur. yeah, you're right. It is a frog. Oh, yeah, yeah, He yeah. looks like a frog with like a flower on his back yeah. more than anything. Right, that's true. It is like... Yeah. Well, I get what you're saying because of his bud on his back for yeah. Bulbasaur. He yeah. does look like a little turtle. Yeah. But I guess he I guess once he evolves a little bit, he does look more like a frog. Yeah, when you um, get poison powder, it wait, comes out of his little poison. That's actually a good topic, so... Um, when you first started playing Pokemon, first three, who did you pick? Man, dude, Charmander all the way, homie, what you yeah, mean? Yeah, you would pick Charmander. Charmander, bro, you gotta go straight full firepower and murder everything. I don't remember, guys. This is sad because I played... I played I've so always times. played Charmander. Oh, I've, you haven't changed? No, well, I That's have. I've, I've, yeah. I've, I've done where I've done, like, different ones, but then I'm always... I always revert back and go back to Charmander. I think Charmander was my last choice. I like to always Fuck go you. with... A Squirtle first, I'm pretty sure. I yeah, just can't I remember. A yeah, I'm a Squirtle guy, and then then I went to Venusaur because Chance he was, he was is a really guy. he was um <laughs> like Venusaur was more neutral. Like you could beat Venusaur so many you, different yeah. like unless, until you got to the uh the, until what? until you got to Elite Four and there was the freaking Dragon type Pokemon's up yeah. there trainer. Mm-hmm. That would absolutely. But I, I'm you. pretty sure I did Squirtle. Yeah. I always for Emerald, I remember I did Bulbasaur because you had to go Grass type with the Green game. And for Fire Red, I did Charmander. Mm. And then there was also... You mean Leaf Green. You said Emerald. Emerald's different. Is it? Yeah. So, yeah, Emerald's Emerald's the... in the Sinnoh, right? Uh, yeah, no? that's Chase. I, I don't know. That. Chase would know. Ch- well, Chase. I didn't have Leaf Green. I had Emerald. Emerald. So, that that is the one after. Yeah, that's the one it's, after. It's the that's fourth, that's, that's, fourth that's, generation. What is that? That's Cyndaquil, Totodile, and... Uh, is it? Man, I've got, played got, so well, long. We got it, the internet right here. If it if it is, if it if Bulbasaur's not in that one, I definitely still pick the grass type. Okay. Yeah, which I would be the lizard dude. Oh yeah, Torchic. Or not or No, you're thinking of Trico. Trico, yeah. Trico. Yeah. Trico. Trico? Yeah. Oh, oh, my bad. Torchic, Trico, Mudkip. Mudkip. That's who it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Emerald. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So I would always pick what? For whatever Trico, reason I had like Trico. I had like a yeah. I had like a coordination between the color of the game and the in the Pokemon, but with um, Pokemon Go, it starts you out. It started you out with the main big three. Yeah, and I picked Bulbasaur. What in the world? Did I? I don't even know what I did. I can't even think. Do you remember oh. when they first introduced teams and like you got to join a team? You had no idea what you were joining into, and like it's yeah, like, it told you you couldn't switch teams. Yeah, so you're that like, was fuck. Yeah, you're like so. Was, how are you supposed to coordinate with all your friends that quickly? I, I was with Brayden. We were Roman um, West Fork. Were you Mystic? Were you? Um, yeah, I think I was Mystic because that's what he picked, and yeah. I was like, actually no. Are you blue? Yeah, blue. Okay, I was gonna say I picked blue too. I yeah, think the majority of people picked blue. Picked blue because and once we all was, figured it out, then it was red, red, and then yellow, and yellow. Yeah, yeah. So freaking Cyndaquils from the Johto region, yeah. all those guys I said toted out on them, and that's from Pokemon Silver, Gold, and Crystal. I don't think I had any of those, but I like Cyndaquil. Wait, wait, what'd you say? Gold, silver, silver Crystal, and that was toted up. Yeah, dude. Okay. I wonder if I had Silver. But didn't they make a remake of it? Soul Silver. That's what it was. Soul Silver and Heart Gold. Was the remake was the later edition of those beginning ones, so that's the one you probably played. And I played that one a lot. I played. Yeah, I probably played that one. I too. played. Uh, I played Pearl. I played, I played Diamond. Pearl? I played Diamond for sure. I don't think I think Chase and I both got like normally we would try to get like if he got one then I'd get the other, but sometimes I'd be like oh, I just want the same one. It just it just depends. A lot of the times we did like Heart Gold. I know for sure I got the opposite one. I did, I normally let him pick since he was more like. He was more into it, I would, and I would just get the other one. Yeah. Um, and then he would just play it later. Because I only get through a Pokemon game just once, except um, Fire Red. Fire Red, that's the only game I replay. Yeah, Still I to this day. I, I like to play Emerald again, but I just I just don't have time. I still have all my stuff, but... I know I have a DS somewhere. Oh, I still have my DS. My, my, the one that you can do the... What are they called? The actual DS games? No, not DS. What is it called? Game Boy Advance games and the DS yeah, games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's like an OG. Yeah. That's, I, that's OG. the one I have. You have the light one, like the skinny version, or the thick the boy? Thick oh, one. I got yeah. the thick Oh, guy. yeah. I had, I had a blue, thick guy. I have the blue yeah. one that's in there. I have yeah. a red one. 
Yeah. And my mom, I remember we got her a white one because she liked to play the brain games. Oh, yeah. I remember those were huge for, like, <laughs> I remember I middle-aged played a lot of women. Them. My mom loved them. Yeah, yeah freaking gay broke his. He had, like, a freaking, uh, he had, like, a skinny version. He broke his, so then my mom but was But in the skinny like, version, you couldn't play the... No, yeah, yeah. They, 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 had, they had a version of it that was just slimmer where you could play Game Boy games and... Oh, maybe that's the one I'm talking about then. Hey, I'll show you right now. Show me right now. Show you, you right now. Live else. on the podcast. He looks like a little skinny boy. Yeah. Anyways, I had, um, gosh, Nathan was really big into Mario. So Nathan was the Mario guy, yeah. and I was Taste the Pokemon guy. I don't, Nathan really couldn't get into Pokemon that well. Um, Just a generational. Yeah. Is this, is yeah. this guy skinny? Yep, that's a skinny that boy. That's not a skinny. That's a no, no, guy. no. There's a thicker Are you talking one. about the rectangle one? Or, I mean, the square one? No. That's the SP. No, no. There is. Let me see, Chance. No. Man, this brings back so that's, many memories. That's dude. a skinny that's boy. That's a thick one, dude. No, 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 no. no. Looks, like, thick to me. Hey, how far away do you have to be to message people on the messaging thing? Do you remember? Do you have to be right next to each other? Yeah, I think it's like you have to do a thing. Yeah. I was gonna go home and <laughs> yeah, get online. <laughs> Maybe there is a way. I don't know, but I, I think gonna, it was just yeah, like so you have to be the, within like the, those are the DS lights. This isn't a light. This yeah, is the, just the normal this is what DS. I was talking about. Oh, it is a DS light. It says DS light on there. That's the oh, thick no one. No, I never had one Dude, of those. this is Mandela Effect because that never came out in my life. Bro, my that was Bro. not there. I'm telling you, that's what I had. I had a Dude. blue thick boy. Let me freak. Oh, oh chance could pop yeah, it up. Chance, chance will pop it up. Yeah, yeah. Here, anyway. Yeah, so that's the light. This is the light. Yeah, it is. I, this, it says light on there, so I, this I is the light. legit OG. Like, let me let's see. I just one. remember the white one. And how come I don't even remember that coming it. out? I don't either. I would say I still have it, but I don't. I think Gabe might have broke it. That almost looks just like mine, though. Nope. Just a different color. It's just it's just thicker. Your, oh. Yours is more slim and everything. It still has power, bro. There's no game in it, though. Damn it! Wait, no. Oh, oh we big chat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, click on that. See how far it is. What chances need? Chat room. Wait, maybe you can. Oh, no. Power is about a chance without an E. I wonder... Gosh, dude. How, your, do you, how, do you, how, how do you get the thing out? Don't you have the thing? It's not in there. It's the stylus. Oh. oh I, 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 I wasn't a stylus guy. I hated the stylus, actually. I was always just... Yeah, dude. Eating. See? No. That's what I had. That hmm. thick boy. Wow. That is crazy. I remember though I got, got like back in this a hundred stylus those, pens for like five bucks on eBay one time. Those I think you could. Those had like a little. No, maybe this one did too. This did, definitely not touch screen. I, mean, I guess not. you have to use a touch got a stylus. No, yeah, those I think you were able to like touch screen. But I mean, like, I, oh yeah, it is a touch screen. I'm talking about. Is that the mic? Is that the mic? Yeah, that's the mic. It says mic. M I C. Okay. I was about to say, which ones could you like blow into? Could you not like? This Was one, you can, yeah. Yeah. Blow into it and do what to it? When you had the dog, when you had the dog game, and you, oh, blew, really? and you blew on a dog, it would like cool them down after they played. I never had the dog game. I just did this. Whenever my games wouldn't hurt, I'd just jam it in there. Oh, know? no, you could actually blow into the mic, and it would the dog would be like. I didn't have, what, what was it called? I don't even know what that game was the called. The dog game? Um, Chase Thomas Fire. I don't know. Nintendo Dogs or Nintendo something like that. Nintendo Dogs, yeah, yeah. No. So I can't believe that was the light. Chase and I were just Mar- we strictly played Mario and Pokemon, but uh, we didn't we didn't do anything. That's else. weird because I don't even remember the original DS slide no, being dude, out. You, it's, and it's that one was so lopsided. What in the world? It was yeah. it was like the bottom end was super fat with all the components and everything, and then the screen was a little bit thinner. So that was before they got like where they were able to make everything smaller and work as good or even better, and then put in a smaller version, a light skinny version. Huh. That's pretty cool. Technology. No, and we yeah. get to live through it all. And now, yeah, then they came out with um, all the generations. But, you know, yeah, I, I loved yeah, dude. The, I Every Saturday, Chase and I got up at like 7, 8 a.m., grinded, grinded, and grinded Pokemon. Pokemon Go? No. I just used to oh. play on like the airplanes and stuff. Yeah. Because Nintendo didn't have like, didn't use like Wi Fi or anything. Yeah, yeah. Which is why it makes me wonder how the Picto Chat thing worked now. It was just, I think you were, it was Bluetooth. It was just Bluetooth. Oh, yeah, you Bluetooth. guys were just close enough. Yeah, just... as long as, and that's how you could trade, like, with the actual SPs. You know, you had to have the, the cable. Mm-hmm. Chase and right, I would, right. we went and bought the cable, and then they came with those, we're like, you don't have to have a cable. It was, like, a lot better. Yeah, me and Nathan, me and Nathan definitely, well, I would play Pokemon on his DS, and I would trade with myself, because mm-hmm. he would, wouldn't really play Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Man, I feel like I just want to go back to the old simple days. That's crazy. Yeah, they could have went further with the DS, I think, a little bit. 
I don't remember how far they actually went. Though. They had a 3DS, and it was just a. I don't. I don't think they should have went like the 3D. Remember like 3D TVs? They yeah. just died. Like it, it yeah. just wasn't a thing. Like it just never got convenient. No one wants to wear glasses every time. You know, it's just it's hard to do that. Like you want to go to a 3D movie occasionally just because it's. No, oh, yeah. You know, it like it's they, they nicer, they do, bigger yeah. surround sound. You know, it just, it's an experience. Yeah. But going home every day and what? No, like you don't want to do that. Consistently watching 3D. Yeah. That was and, and you also me. have to make 3D. Like you have to actually make this stuff 3D. So like half, or I would say more than half the stuff people wouldn't. You know, because 3D has extra charges, and you have to have different uh, software people to do that. So. Hmm. I saw though this thing, and you probably saw it too. Noah, was that video games are going to like seventy or eighty bucks a piece now? Yeah, they, and they're all and they're all going they, digitally, which doesn't like I know that they're just making up for the for pay for the software engineers and stuff like that. But there should be a little bit of compensation for digital games. I mean, because the the disc and the, the case, okay, and then you don't have to have workers to do any of that stuff. Yep. Seventy to eighty bucks now. Yeah, they're going just just for the the standard edition. They're going up to seventy. Yeah, yeah, they're they're, doing, they're yeah. going from new new gen consoles from yeah. from now on. I but think. you figure it's probably about time they all went digital though. Yeah, well, well I've been buying my stuff digital for I, like, yeah. Now. I've been buying my stuff digital for the last like, two buy, or three years. Yeah. I don't buy if someone's gonna buy me a game. I'm like just buy me like the card, card like yeah. a Microsoft card or whatever, and just yeah. I'll put it all on. I'll just buy it online. Ain't no reason to have a disc because all the discs now are they're one readers. Yeah. Like once you put it in your console, it won't be read by another console, right? Is that how that works? Because you down. No. It, no. It, it, oh. it, it, you can share them now. That there was a, there was a thing that Xbox One first came out with, and they were they weren't gonna allow you to share games, and then they retracted that when Sony was like they made a, a, an advertisement that was like, if you want to share a game, that like on the advertisement they just like handed it to someone. They were making fun of Xbox, so they were. Do you remember that? I do. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, yeah, like Xbox, the very first Xbox One, they were trying to make it where you only could play that one game. Like, you couldn't share it with your friends. Yeah. And then they retracted that and, you know, all that stuff. But, no, it, now, I mean, it's just you, you play. But, the you know, the bad thing about the disc, obviously, is the scratches, keeping up with it. They they go bad after, like, a little bit. Because it's going to yeah. get scratched, like, regardless. And your yeah. disc reader could be freaking scratching the shit out of it. It'll just wear out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, it's smarter. Because then that means you got to take away that disc reader component. In an Xbox or whatever, and that's like way less right there. If everything's yeah. going online, then you can just yeah. literally just be like, "Here you go," and then just make a separate version where it reads disc if people still want to buy disc and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I think I think digital, it's going to be all digital soon. I don't think you'll see many video games, m- any new video games in like stores in the next like ten years. Yeah, I'm just going to be playing be... everything on PC now. And is that what Sony did? The new pl- that one PlayStation doesn't have a disc reader. Yeah, Xbox did it too. Okay. They did the. Um, they did one of their versions. Mm-hmm. Doesn't have a disc reader, huh? Nope. Mm. And it, it's weird because the well, the, the, play, the PlayStation Five one, one is tapes. like they're still the same size. Clapping cheeks. <laughs> no, that's just if they if they keep up with the cross compatibility, then you want the disc reader because yeah. I got like Modern Warfare Two, Modern Warfare Three, all those games. Yeah, but those Wait, are just, those are just done and dead. Yeah, I mean, like, I I do I. I do understand what you're we're, saying. We're, Kevin, we're to the point where they're like they're never going to keep. I don't know, man. Back. They're just going to remaster it. Like, yeah, they're just going to remaster it, and make it their and own. Have them rebuy that sixty forty dollar game. You know, it better not be sixty dollars for a remastered version. They did that with or was Modern it forty? It was it was forty, wasn't it? Or was it sixty? It was Skyrim was sixty when they remastered Skyrim. Well, I don't remember how much that bundle was for Call of Duty when they remastered Call of Duty Four. It was with... it was eighty. No way. I paid $80 for two games that one year. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, because it was Infinite Warfare and then COD 4. And I never played Infinite Warfare. Me either. And I only played that, so I paid $80. Because there wasn't a, a pack oh, There yeah, wasn't a pack that. at the time you could buy it. And then later it came out for like 40 or 30 bucks oh, separately. That's so yeah. freaking cheeks. They haven't done that since, so we, I mean, we can't. Well, it, was just, it was a stupid idea. If they come, they need to need a revamp. That old Modern Warfare series. They did Call it for. They need to do Modern Warfare 2. Were they, were they not confirming that like a while ago before COVID? No, I think they were, but I don't know if it actually went into development yeah. or not. I mean, how hard could it be? You have all the stuff somewhere. Yeah. You just you just have the remastered the you graphics. Just, just make you the just, graphics, everything. Just, yeah. You have I mean, the voices. You have the voices and everything. You have just the voices. You have the gun sounds. You have the gun looks. You have everything. 
just Code turn the dial up was really to 4K. Fun. Yeah. Cod for, or Modern Warfare was really fun remastered for a while. And then, uh, just and then like any other started, COD game. Then old dudes, people started getting on it that used to play that game yeah. and they started fucking wrecking. Yeah. I just get one person by the M16 every game. I just got sniped like a monkey, like all the time. I just remember, I, that's like one, one of the things like I just hated, like so fast, you know. Now, Modern Warfare 2, I never played. <laughs> Oh, so, sniping sniping on there. oh I know. I, I watched yeah. Chase destroy Snip- some kids on that thing. Sniping but. on there is pretty baller. Modern Warfare 2 is disgusting. I remember, like, you would just grind until you got to level 40, mm-hmm. and then you got the ACR. ACR then you, was baller. Then you grind the ACR until you get the silencer, and then you're, like, you're, <laughs> you're set for the rest of the game. Silencer, heartbeat sensor. Yeah. You just rock bling on that mug. You just go off. And also, the campaign for Modern Warfare 2 <laughs> you is, You got Commando like, Pro on and everything. Yeah. Shit, you're and kniping the, people from halfway across the map. The campaign for Modern Warfare 2 is also the best, in my opinion. Oh, See, I, 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 like I, I never played missions. any campaigns either. Oh, I loved the campaign for Modern Warfare 2. I, I played that constantly. I yeah. just replay it over I, and over. I never, did, I never could get, get into it, just because I, I was always a player, and I still am, that I just like the quick action, and you're done. Quick action, and you're done. Like That's why I have um, problems playing any... Uh, RPG game like I only can really play oh we just play art. Skyrim like, yeah I mean, we used to play it a little bit I mean I sorry me I played a little bit you played it ten times thousand much more than I did but <laughs> Ark was really fun aren't they coming with Ark 2? they are that'll be fun hmm. yeah, the Ark 2 and then there's a Netflix series <laughs> no series. way Car- yeah like an anime show yeah it has Vin Diesel in it and everything wow I think I think it does. I think they I, actually no. For the trailer for Arc Two, it has Vin Diesel. Oh, I think. Yeah, that was pretty baller. I was like, "What the hell?" That's crazy. But, that game got was like I remember when I worked you know worked at Walmart and stuff. All the little kids would come in and they're like, "You got it." I'm like, "It's only on, it's only on wasn't it only digitally. You only yeah, have it digitally cause, for cause, thirty cause, bucks because it's an early access for the game. beta, right? Yeah, it was an early access game." Yeah. And they're like, you got the arc? I'm like, no, I got, don't got the arc. Arc is only, and I, I did have it at the time. <laughs> like, yeah, but. Then people used to come into Walmart and ask to buy Fortnite. And like, yeah. And you'd be like, bro, it's literally free on the app yeah. store. They, they do have the. The packs. The packs now. Yeah, they do. But, but yeah, yeah. Like at uh, yeah, the beginning, it was the same thing. Like, you couldn't. Yeah, in the beginning, there was like nothing. I should be like, yeah, $10 and give me some. <laughs> Yeah, ten dollars is and... ten dollars. Now go yeah, home, yeah. and then it's gonna be free. It. It's, you're gonna see free, and I typed it in on yeah, the computer, yeah. and you're gonna get it. <laughs> I looked up your kid's Xbox and typed in free. Yeah. So there you go. That would be really funny. Did I saw on like YouTube? I was watching, and I watched two like so you know Mr. Beast. Obviously, everyone knows Mr. Yeah. Beast, but he gives away so much money, and like all the money he makes. Obviously not all the money because he still has to live and you know do his own stuff. But he, I mean, by what he says, he just you know donates a good lives, portion. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like yeah, big portion. He has plenty of people on payroll, stuff like that. And I was like, dude, he, I'm glad that he he was fine. There's one guy that finally did that. So, you know, because there's plenty of people that could be doing that right now. Yeah. You know, like be donating and giving back. And so I, was, I watched this other subscriber. Or subscriber, YouTuber. His name is Big Dos TV. Have you ever heard of him? Mm. He does like. I don't think I've seen him. He does like random stuff. No. But anyway, so like today I watched a video. He's like gave ten thousand dollars away, but like he split it up. Like he would go through a drive through. Like he went through like twenty drive throughs and like gave him like random oh, yeah. amount of money. But I mean that's just like if I had that money, I would be doing that too because first of all I would like to do that, and you know there's some people that obviously just keep that money, and I think you should like save it and keep your money, but you know. Once you're to their size of their subscriber, like 50 million, he has over 50 million. He's bringing in so much money. Like he has ads. He gets sponsored by apps all the time, but he does give away like millions of dollars too. So like, you know, he's making millions too. So it's crazy. But that's one thing I would like to do if we, I mean, when we actually get big, I'm not even kidding you. Like after we hit 36 subscribers, it's going to be big time. I would <laughs> definitely like to do like all the, zero, all three of us. A dime. A dime a piece. All three of us just go out there and just like you know give back. Like say we we start putting ads in. Yeah, well I mean we're gonna get to that point eventually. I'm just waiting until we have like a a a, a steady consistent base. <laughs> then you because know, if you put ads in and then no one's watching, like it just you know. And on Anchor you have to put like you have to custom create them. So we'd have to kind of get into that too, which is it's not hard, but no, not really. But 
I think I just want a base. Like I want to. To me, if we had a hundred subscribers, which I know it's not a lot, but I mean it's good for us. I would probably consider doing like advertising at that point. Maybe on Anchor, too. maybe you know. Yeah, now, yeah. Obviously, we'd all have to talk about it, you know, because we'd all have to split it. So who knows? It, they might be like one dollar for every thousand views, you know, like yeah. You know, so it's really like money that's <laughs> would take us a year to get. <laughs> so when they when Mr. Beast and people like that donate their money, where does that money come from? It comes from the ads? Yeah. So there's this thing called CPM or something at CFM, but anyway, it's just like uh, so a th- per a thousand views, you get this much money. And the more subscribers you have, you get a, a better money, base. Yeah. So, like, if you're, like, a small... Like, to get partnered at all, it's... Do you know now? Totally get me. It's, it's 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours within the last year watch time. And then you submit a claim, and then it takes, like, three months more to get accepted. And then you, you start bringing in money. And that's for no ads. Well, on YouTube, you know, they get they play ads anyway. Yeah. With the, For the AdSense stuff. So, I guess they are watching the ads. So, that's how you get money. But it's based off of your thousand views. Like, per thousand views, you get, say, two dollars or something like that. I don't know. It just depends. Like, the, the more popular, like, the more money you're going to get. Yeah. So, like, Twitch does it to, um, I don't know how, like, I've looked at Anchors a little bit in, like, the sponsorship tab. It looks cool, but I'm just, I want a little bit more, like, audience before mm-hmm. we do that. Um, I was going to ask something else about that, too, but I forgot. Um, so, I don't know. That I was thinking, but so his money comes from the ads, and of course mm-hmm. he keeps some. Yeah, he, but he keeps also some, donates a bunch. And he donates, and like he he also gets money from apps that sponsor him. He, he has a bunch of revenue like coming in. So, so I wonder if those ads get like a tax write off because technically that money that they're giving away is being donated. Yeah. So like it, so anything that he, so it's like like your income, like so if like he's getting that money, like if he donates that to all the people. He just writes that off on his taxes. Yeah. And then, therefore, he's he probably doesn't pay a bunch at the end. Like, probably not. I mean, he probably... Actually, I can't say that. This depending. Okay, like, I don't we know. We don't know for sure, but... Yeah, I mean, I know, like, anything he, he donates or... Well, maybe it's donating, actually. Well, no, because it, it technically is a business expense, because... Technically, it's a bit, it is yeah. a bit. It is a business, because I know he has an LLC, for sure. Because, you know, so... Anyway, there, there's some legal stuff to get into that there's probably a lot of loopholes that he's following a hundred percent a hundred percent oh no i think when i eventually start my career as a chiropractor um oh i would want to i want to start i figured out that i want to start an office yeah that's where i want to start out i want to work under somebody Mm -hmm. and learn as much as i can build a patient base Mm -hmm. yeah and then um if Whoever it is decides to leave me the place. Fine, I'll run the I'll run the show. Mm-hmm. But if I want to branch out and start my own company, I kind of want to be cash based because mm-hmm. then I feel like it broadens your your uh, your um, patient base because a lot of people have like uh, so you can they want to go insurance? through they want to well a lot of people the thing is most insurances don't cover right that's, that's true yeah that's true. So it's like, if I go through cash base, I won't have to worry about talking to the insurance about um, claiming exactly what I did to the patient to receive the money that I should be reimbursed. And also, it just allows me to be like more open with the patient about... Um, what they're paying for? Yeah. Because I can I mean, just say like... Me. I can say like, well, today you only got two adjustments, so you owe me this amount of money. Yeah. And but next week, if we did like three or four adjustments, and we did like stem work and massage, then like okay, well, there's more work being done, so yeah. you owe me a little bit more money. Yeah. Whereas I think with insurance, you can only claim like certain adjustments, and then certain like I don't think you can. If I did an adjustment on Noah's neck, mm-hmm. I couldn't claim stem work on his neck. Right. I would have I would have to do massage on his low back to claim massage, mm-hmm. but that wouldn't make sense for me to do mo- right. massage down here. In his sake, he would be questioning that. Mm-hmm. So it's like, do I? Two shits, man. Just so back. Pe- people would though. People would question it. Yeah, people would and, question it because it'd be like, oh, yeah. my neck hurts. And be like, you know what? You really need is a low back massage. Yeah. You can, so you can owe me more money. Right. And they would question that and be like, well, yeah. In order to actually, like, make money off like extra work mm-hmm. i can't do it on the same area i massage i think that's what i've been told i'm not 100 well, sure and, but and the thing about that though is if you're working in an office with someone you get to see the pay scale like you'll see what 
the the going rate is for the different things that you're talking about. Yeah. Um, and so one that gives you like an idea where you can start up because Alex did the same thing theoretically kind of because she worked with a you know her at uh, at the other salon okay at a, at a hair place at a hair yeah. place and uh, then she made her own but she knew all the prices she she got her clientele they followed her she made her own thing she has an LLC she does the taxes every year she writes off a bunch of stuff yeah therefore um, you have to I mean like there's so much stuff like you write off your mileage like when you own your own business your mileage to the work site really gas um. Like she Probably bought, she bought like equipment. an iPad, any so equipment. like a thousand dollar write off. Um, if you're really smart, and I, I looked into this, you buy your car underneath your business, okay? So you buy under this, and that's a tax deduction that you get on your taxes, and then anything like all the miles are covered because it's you know it's a work car, so therefore your work car now your your work vehicle has to stay with underneath one hundred fifty thousand dollar dollars, one hundred fifty thousand miles. Or your insurance is like doubled, so like you have to keep on getting a new one. That's why you see all the companies like they have new trucks, but it's because oh, their yeah. insurance is so high after 150 thousand miles. I was mm. wondering that. So I've been seeing a lot of the new cars pop up. Yeah, and so that's why like once you hit a certain mileage, like it's too liable for the company and for the insurance to take on it. You know, so so just the, the newer models. Now the new models sometimes are more expensive because everything's turning electronic. You know, it's more electronical versus mechanical nowadays. Yeah, in cars. And so there's those little things that could easily be like broken and they're like, well, we don't cover that mm. or something, you know, whatever. But that's why you also like, it, there's a whole insurance thing. I've looked into it, but it, there's just too much. There's too much. It kind of goes back to the scam thing because not, not, not insurance is scammy, but like, you know, car salesmen like want to sell you a certain package, but oh yeah, just so they can go home with a little bit more money, which I get it. Like they should be, they should make whatever they sell. So whatever. Yeah, but do you also remember that time that we went and bought that car and we mm-hmm. were like, no, we can't do it. Yeah, he was that's like, all right, true. let me talk to my yeah, boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're like, oh, no, dude, we yeah. still can't do that. That's not enough. And he's like, oh, give me a second. I'll go <laughs> yeah. talk to my boss. And like he knocked it down like $2,000. And we're like, so you're telling me you could have came out with $2,000 right. less and right. we would have bought that right then and there. But instead, you had to come out with uh, with $2,000 like, more yeah. and we had to we had to almost walk out with no car that day. Right, right. Yeah, that was so it's crazy. Like, there's some punks out there. Yeah. And it, maybe exactly. it's just a part of the job. Right. I mean, yeah, and they want to make money for them. And I, so I, I kind of want to be like a car salesman for like two days just so I know how it works and then I can <laughs> like leave, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I couldn't sell anything even if it was like a penny to a homeless person. Me either. That's I can't terrible. I can't really sell too much. I would have, like, there's, I mean, there are some people that go in and they're like, yeah, that's the car I want and you have the price on the window, I can pay that, yeah. give me the car. But there's also people that go in and they're like, they're like, they're like on a budget, you mm-hmm. know? And they're yeah. like, well, you have, you're going to have to cut me a deal. Yeah. And I think that's most of the population is yeah. you have to cut me a deal and that's why with any negotiation, you always start high. Mm-hmm. Look yeah. at Facebook Marketplace, even the smallest transaction be like twenty five dollars or best offer. Yeah, and you're like, okay, well, I'll give you fifteen. They're like, well, I really wanted twenty. Yeah. Well, I can really only do like highest seventeen. Right. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll give you seventeen. You're like, well, all right, cool. And to me though, if I'm ever selling something, you always you always start high if you're selling, and if you're already if you're buying, you always go like low. To me, I would like this middle. is just my mindset. I would never put best offer on there. I would just say, hey, it's twenty five bucks because you know they're gonna come with a nego- yeah, negotiation. Yeah, they're gonna come with a so low. Ball. Every time I yeah, see OBO, put, yeah. or if I see best offer, I'm like. That, yeah, that's just hurting yourself because they're going to lower you. Like, they might just pay the $25 and then you get that extra little bit, you know, like, but. Yeah, because if people say, if people see or best offer, they're like, well, if I'm the only one offering, I can I can offer $15 less than what you're asking and come away with the best <laughs> right. offer. Yeah, that's true. Now, they can still not accept it because it's not a legal binding thing. But, yeah. I mean, still, I mean, like, it, to me, I'm like, I would never put that out there, like. Like, for example, Aubrey was selling something on Marketplace earlier this week, and it was three makeup palettes, which she bought, which are like 40 to $50 a piece. Yeah, Alex, they're not cheap. And she was, selling them yeah, for, she was selling them for $20 a piece, and I was like, no, bundle them and sell them for $50 for total for all three of them. Mm-hmm. And then and she was like, should I do our best offer? And I... Like kind of thought like yeah. you said I was like no no because they're gonna lowball you anyways right and so if you say fifty dollars they'll, they'll and she was like well should I actually do like forty dollars like they're not really like I've used them a little bit they're not really worth that much money and I was like no because if you say forty they're gonna go thirty five yeah uh, if yeah, you go fifty yeah. or sixty then they're gonna say oh, I'll give you 
50 and then you like that's the one you want right yeah exactly that that's how i do stuff and uh, that's how i sold my shoes um before oh, i, I remember, I, remember you need, yeah, I, remember I sold like six pairs of shoes and i would always say like yeah i would always, well i wore them quite a bit too so i would always say like 50 bucks because i would always go like 50 to 60 percent of what i bought them for and then they would say um can you do them for like so and so price i'm like yeah that's actually i was gonna sell them for so yeah I'll, yeah i'll do that easy yep he, okay so that's it so we so we have a mini fridge in the garage and like last week two weekends ago last weekend uh, we cleaned out the garage and we we're like all right let's put on on marketplace so we put on there for like 50 bucks and uh they're like no we put on there like for 30 or so, something low. and they're like i'll give you ten dollars extra to drive it out here and I was like, can you take it out there? I was like, I didn't really want to. I was like, yeah, I'll take it out there for 10 bucks extra. Yeah. They might not have a truck or something, whatever. So I'm on the way there, dude. And so he, he tells, or I don't know who it was. I think it was a guy. He tells Alex, like, hey, um, I'm in this apartment. Ask for a certain name. I don't even remember what the name was, but it just any any name. I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird. Like, why would I, like, that's really weird. And he was like, it's in, um, like, so there's an A and B side. He was like, Go to the, I think he said, go to the A side and ask and knock on this door and ask for whatever name it was. And I'm like, that's really weird. But I was like, okay, like, I just want them to come out and get it, but I'll go knock on the door. Then she, she calls me and is like, hey, don't go. She's like, turn around right now. I'm like, okay, like, why? He's like, he's like, or, or she said, whenever I told him that you were bringing it, like, she was like, my husband's bringing you the thing. He was like, oh. Actually, I'm in I'm in apartment B and under this under this different number. So me and her were like, "What?" So I turned around, I came home, and we just like just lied and we're like, "Sorry, we're not bringing it." You know, or we said something. I don't know what we said, but it was either like he was like trying to like be a predator, or he was just being really sketchy. We didn't want to deal with that anyway. But yeah, then it was weird. Like I was I was almost there too. Like I was on it was in Springdale and I was at. Uh, the Don Tyson exit seventy three Springdale exit or Elm Spring or something. That but is yeah. weird that he would like he changed switch up the whole complex. Like if he was like, oh, I mistyped one, you know, number that happens, but a whole entire lot A versus lot B, we were like, that's weird. But why would he in the even in the first place send you to a whole different place? Exactly. I don't. That's yeah. really sketched. It was yeah. So we were we were like yeah, let's bail. And then then I saw uh, sold a a little car jack that I had for our like our Toyota whatever and we sold it for like 15 bucks and someone bought it for 15 bucks and it was only worth like 25 so when i was selling my when i was selling my shoes i would meet people um like in fable to get the shoes and then they would buy the shoes and i'd be like hey are you like do you know anybody who like wants another pair of shoes smart, or do you yeah. want yourself a pair of shoes because i would have them all in the back seat yeah, of my car yeah and he's like yeah let me see what you got and i would have them all out there and i would show them every single one and one time i actually i actually sold this guy two pairs of shoes because he bought one at like 40 bucks mm -hmm. and i was like i'll give you another pair of shoes right now for an extra 20 yeah and he was like all right let me see what you got and sure enough he bought another pair for like 20 bucks <laughs> and i was like shoot get yeah. it off my hands and give me the money yeah <laughs> i have one pair I, I i have the flynet air maxes still that were like oh, 200 yeah. bucks <laughs> I still have mine because I was like, dude, two hundred dollars still to me is you know a lot. Dude, like you it, should wear those more often. Those are I, cool. Well, I I want to, but like I just never like have. Maybe next time we like go out, I'll wear them. But yeah, I still have them. I'm like, dude, those are cool. You and Mason yeah. had some. Yeah, I wonder if we both got. I don't I know if Mason doubt. still has his. I, I don't think he, he does. does. Yeah, I just if he I, did, I'd wear them. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, give me those. <laughs> because those are really cool shoes. I wish they. And I also like the ones that were the Air Maxes, but they were like the, you know, the cross. Like the stitching kind of, but it was like it wasn't like a mesh. It was just like, pla I don't know, like I don't know. You probably, I'll try to pop it up if, if I if I can remember that. But there's some Air Maxes that it, they look like they're like the trainer ones, Air Max trainers that had like the little bubble, and then they had like just like a black mesh over it. Not the flyknit. It was just like a black like little cross thread. Mm. I, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain, but I trying to picture all the air maxes i can i'm not yeah. sure if i know what you're exactly talking about they though. weren't they weren't that cool but i thought they were cool so y'all remember the nike uh roshi runs yes, bro yes, yes. <laughs> those were popping and they were comfortable and me and mason like dude I couldn't, um, I couldn't wear those me and mason like what do you call it like oh yeah you guys didn't you um we like, took some fabric from um yeah Hobby you made Lobby, like custom yeah and we custom made mine my fabric lasted like two yeah. weeks maybe <laughs> oh did it really yeah um 
the his lasted a long time. He did his really well. Mm-hmm. But I remember they were like kind of comfortable, and then like I would just like wear them around, and then people I would see people running them, and I'd be like, Dude, oh, I yeah. know your shit, because we would see him at track or cross country meet sometimes. I'm like, bro, why? I know your shins are on fire. On fire. On fire. Why do they Why do they label them run if they're not like a running shoe? Because they were actually a remake of an old Nike shoe, mm-hmm. um, I think. And it was just like a revamped version. Mm-hmm. And that that old shoe used to be like a running shoe, I think. And they just like, I don't know, people thought they were running shoes. Because Nike does some weird stuff on their website. They have like, they have like a casual shoe, then they have a running shoe category. Mm-hmm. And sometimes both shoes get in between in, in those. Like you'll find if you go to lifestyle shoes, there'll be like some Nike Flyknit runners in there. Or other shoes mm-hmm. because they make like an all white version that you can style for the streets. Right. And so people get often confused. Like Roshi runs, like the gray version I remember always used to be in the running category. And I would like cringe because I know people would actually buy those and wreck their calves and shins. Yeah, I couldn't wear them just to walk around because I don't know if it was my foot, but right here, did it ever hurt you right there? Where? Just right on the top of your like foot. Um, I don't remember. I don't think it never did. It did for me bad. Like I, I think like, some of them, yeah, kind of rubbed me weird on my like some of my foot. Yeah, it would like hurt like between and it was like between you where your ankle and your foot like I had a couple different fly nets. All... <laughs> I only had that one pair, and I was like, I'm, I I, don't, I lost them. I don't know how, but I lost. I just never. I don't know what happened. They just disappeared from my closet. I'm <laughs> glad certain, because they hurt so bad. Watts's mugshot. <laughs> oh gosh. How do you know? It, huh? <laughs> um. It's like when I, I had I had fly net rushy runs and they were really comfortable, but I never wore them. I sold them to my cousin for like forty bucks. I think I bought them for like seventy. Don't 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 tell me that. Chance. Okay, sorry, we're back. We had some technical difficulties that we wanted to finish out. Anyways, so back on the rushy run topic, they hurt Chance's feet. You're bad. <laughs> I had some fly net ones that I sold that were really comfortable and they were cool, but I sold them because. I just never wore them. It got to a point where I just never wore them. They, I, I feel like fly nets have died off like really hard. They really have. Fly nets, fly nets and the Adidas Knit Pro stuff that came out. NMD, is that what it was? Oh, Adidas, yep. Those are not cool anymore. The Adidas NMDs and the Roshi Runs are the same. They were really hot for a long time, yeah. then they're like dying off. Yeah. People are really into chunky shoes now. I like chunky shoes. Made my feet look cool. My I'm feet, not my feet into are, chunky shoes. My feet that's are, just because I, I can't. I can't. My feet are really narrow, so if I mm. get a shoe that's narrow, they make my feet look like a freaking clown shoe. Clown yeah. shoe. Yeah. So I have, to, I have to. I have to. Big. I have to get chunky shoes to make it look proportional. Mine are pretty fat, so I just got, like. I just had to get like a. I used to get the freeze, the Nike freeze, all the time, and then I quit making them. So can't yeah. get them anymore. You looked. You. I remember you always looked good. That's, Nike that's freeze. That's all that I would wear. And I'd be like, dang, those are cool shoes. I'd go try them on. <laughs> You're like, no. Mine would be like some Doug feet. I'd be like, yeah. what the fuck, bro? Yeah. These, why did these not work for me? Wait, what size shoe do you wear? Uh, Extra large. Nine point five. Nine and a half. Mm-hmm. I guess that makes sense. It always just looked weird. I don't know. All right. Anyways, this has been a really long podcast, so uh, yeah. thank us and appreciate you. <laughs> we appreciate you for listening this whole time. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. it was, it was like 117 minutes when I checked. Yeah, 117. Um. Anyways, let's get to the. Okay. So yeah, that's gonna conclude today's episode. 117. Tonight's tonight's, yes. tonight's episode of the podcast. Uh, if you like us enough, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter at Beers and Bros Podcast or at Beers underscore Bros, sorry. And on Instagram at Beers and Bros Podcast. Facebook too. Facebook too. I don't post on there as I should, but you can um, follow us on there. If you want to. We yeah. don't post anything. Yeah, so we don't post on there. It's honestly for kicks and Facebook giggles. is dying. It's just like MySpace. Yeah. Um, subscribe to the Apple Podcast and Spotify stuff if you want. We don't, we're not able to see that. So if you really want to show, if you really want to show us like that you're listening... The YouTube is the best way to go. Yeah, so yeah for sure. Thanks for that. Um, anyways, that's going to be it. Thanks for tuning into the show, and we'll see you next time. Peace.